Okay, in this next video here, we're going to uh, prep the case for the motherboard and install the motherboard. We're going to do the processor in a separate video. First thing you probably want to do is put your rear case back on, the uh, back side of it. I'm not going to do that in this case, but uh, anyway. And if you'll notice on the back of the case, you don't have a section for any of your accessories or your video card or what have you. The motherboard does come with this plate for that. Again, ATX case, mini ATX case, so on. And the motherboard, you also get the motherboard itself. It's right here. You get two SATA cables and a ribbon cable, and you get the book and a CD. So the first thing we want to do, make sure you've got this cor the correct way. Just go ahead and install this plate, and it just literally snaps in place. There you go. It's in there securely now. Lay the system down. <clears throat> Make sure you've got all your cabling out of the way and gently put the motherboard in the case. Get it somewhat lined up before you get it in there. Get a better view of this. Sorry for the shakiness there. There we go. Just want you to actually see what's going on here. And you have all these tabs that are coming up on the motherboard. You want those all to line up. That's where you actually screw the motherboard into the case. And on the backhand side, you've got to line everything up with that plate you just installed which at times can be a, a bit difficult. There we go. I didn't have one side snapped in all the way. And then when you've got everything lined up, which looks like we do, you can start putting some screws in it. And all the screws will be marked. Let's see if we can get an even a better view of this. All your screws will be marked like such there and simply uh, put the screws in. Don't over tighten it. You don't want to uh, tighten it up and you hear something crack. Just uh, a little bit beyond finger tight is, is perfect. I mean this this is a desktop. It's not going to be jarred around or anything like that. So go ahead and put those screws in. Um, we'll do that now. Put one in and then you can kind of get get the idea for the rest of them. So go ahead and put this one in up here. You may have to push the board a bit and line it up. There you go. And then uh, put the other ones in there and uh, you'll be done. So that'll do it for this. Uh, we actually will do a review next of the motherboard, the features, what it has, and then we'll go on to the processor after that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.